In the fight against HIV AIDS, celebrities have been shining torches, fighting with a strong spirit and boundless patience. From music icons like Freddie Mercury to movie stars like Rock Hudson, they are not only icons of art, but also symbols of strength and hope in the face of difficult illness. Welcome back to Hourglass Channel. Find yourself a suitable sitting position to start your journey today. Denholm Elliott, the famous British actor, has left an indelible mark on both the silver and small screens in more than 125 films and television shows throughout his illustrious career. Despite being married twice, Denholm still kept the fact that she was bisexual a secret. Tragically, he battled HIV and finally succumbed to AIDS in 1992, at the age of 65, at his home on the island of Ibiza, Spain. His passing is not only a loss to the entertainment industry, but also a heavy blow to the entire arts industry. Denholm left behind an undeniable legacy, with iconic roles spanning from classic cinema to modern masterpieces. Not only is Denholm a talented actor, he also shows resilience and courage when facing life's challenges. The facts of his life, including his acceptance and battle with HIV AIDS, are a testament to the mental strength and determination of a man of great influence. Denholm Elliott is more than just a star. He was a beacon of strength and courage, illuminating the way for future generations both on and off screen. His journey serves as a reminder of the power of authenticity and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In 1954, on the brink of divorce, Robert Reed dropped a bombshell he was gay. Despite fathering a daughter with his estranged wife, Reed opted to bury his true identity, fearing its potential repercussions on his career. But Reed's life wasn't destined for smooth waters. In 1991, a cruel twist of fate struck when he was diagnosed with colon cancer. A mere few months later, he succumbed to the disease at the age of 59. Yet. Buried within his medical records lay another chilling revelation. Reed was HIV positive, a truth that many believed hastened his demise. The saga of Robert Reed is one of relentless struggle, veiled truths, and agonizing sacrifices. Despite the relentless onslaught of life's tribulations and the shadows of illness, Reed fought tooth and nail through every dark twist and turn. His battle, both against societal norms and physical afflictions, stands as a testament to the unyielding spirit of a man unwilling to surrender to the darkness. In the end, Robert Reed will be immortalized not just for his roles on screen, but for his unwavering courage in confronting his own truth, even as the world around him crumbled. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Born in Bratislava in 1951, Andrzej J. Nefela is more than just a figure skater. He is a frost giant, a symbol of passion and power. With three Olympic gold medals adorning her name, Nefela has etched her legacy into the annals of history with breathtaking performances that have captivated audiences around the world. He's not just a champion on the ice. He was the embodiment of perseverance and unrelenting determination. But in 1988, Nephila's illustrious career faced a new opponent leukemia caused by complications from HIV AIDS. Despite fighting hard, Nephila succumbed to the disease the following year, at the age of 38. His untimely death shocked the global sports community, leaving a seemingly empty void, like it can't be filled. In addition to her brilliant career on the ice, Nephila's personal life is also shrouded in pain. Rumors swirled about romances with male figure skaters, hinting at a life filled with inner turmoil and external pressures. With truths lurking beneath the surface, Nephila must grapple with the challenges and burdens of maintaining her integrity and honor. Andre J. Nephila, a sports legend, a man driven by insatiable passion and the price he paid for fame and fortune. Although she may have left this world, Nephila's name continues to shine brightly in the hearts of fans and the figure skating community around the world.
Brad Davis, the Hollywood star, wasn't just famous for his rugged good looks and acting prowess, he was also celebrated as an icon of LGBTQ plus representation in cinema. He took on numerous groundbreaking roles portraying gay characters, leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen with performances in films like Midnight Express and Carell. Despite his 15-year marriage to Susan, Brad Davis' friends and family consistently denied rumors of his homosexuality. However, within the LGBTQ plus community, he became a symbol of inspiration and empowerment. But Brad Davis' life wasn't all red carpets and stage lights. He lived a rock and roll lifestyle, facing numerous challenges and hardships. At the age of 41, he battled a debilitating illness for six years, his health and life profoundly impacted. In the end, Brad Davis passed away in 1991, a victim of the gentle yet devastating embrace of HIV AIDS. His courage in portraying gay characters and his relentless battle with illness cemented his status as a true legend. Despite his struggles, Brad Davis will forever live on in the hearts of film lovers and the LGBTQ plus community. In the annals of music, Freddie Mercury is likened to a giant, a giant with a voice higher than the heavens. However, behind the glamorous facade of fame lies a secret story, whispered rumors, and a battle taking place in the shadows. Diagnosed with HIV in the tumultuous year of 1987, Freddie Mercury chose to hide his illness with a cloak of silence, masking his pain with a facade of bravado. But as the years passed and the darkness grew closer, the truth could no longer be denied. In the bleak year of 1991, the world sadly watched as one of its brightest stars was snuffed out by the cruel grip of AIDS. By his side, in those final agonizing moments, was Jim Hutton, a steadfast companion who shared both the joys and sorrows of Mercury's tumultuous life. Their bond, hidden from the prying eyes of the world, still burns fiercely in the darkness a beacon of love amid the encroaching darkness. Yet even in death, controversy swirls around Mercury's legacy like a storm. Accusations of silence and secrecy echo through the halls of memory, casting a shadow over the music legend's once untarnished reputation. But amid the chaos and noise, one truth remains unchangeable. Freddie Mercury, with his soaring voice and resilient spirit, transcended the mortal world to become an eternal symbol of freedom and acceptance. Acceptance towards the LGBTQ plus community and beyond. In the dazzling world of entertainment, Liberace reigns supreme his ivory keys a symphony of luxury and extravagance. But behind that flashy exterior lies a secret. In 1987, the world was stunned when news broke that Liberace died of AIDS. This revelation sent shockwaves throughout the entertainment industry and left his legions of fans reeling in disbelief. Famous for his dazzling performances and lavish lifestyle, Liberace kept his health problems a secret convincingly publicly admitting his battle with the deadly disease. Only his closest confidants and his personal physician knew of Liberace's situation, yet they chose to conceal the truth in silence, shielding it from the scrutiny of friends and family. But as the final curtain rises on Liberace's illustrious life, whispers of his hidden truth begin to emerge. Chris Adler, rumored to be his former lover, bravely stepped forward, revealing not only Liberace's battle with AIDS, but also his own tragic death from the same disease in 1990, just three years after Liberace died. Their intertwined fates are a poignant reminder of the AIDS epidemic, sparking a new urgency for awareness and prevention measures in society. In death, Liberace's legacy transcended the confines of the stage, becoming a symbol of resilience and a catalyst for change in the ongoing fight against HIV AIDS. Don't forget to drink a cup of tea to quench your thirst and comment number one to let me know that you are still watching this video.
In the tapestry of courage and self-expression, Pedro Zamora's thread is vivid and bold. From an early age, he accepted his identity and gender, buoyed by the unwavering support of his family. At the age of 17, Zamora faced a formidable opponent, HIV. While others might have crumbled under the weight of such a diagnosis, Zamora chose a different path. Instead of surrendering to the cruel will of fate, he resolved to use his life as a beacon of education, illuminating the darkness of HIV AIDS. Across the country, Zamora embarked on a pilgrimage of enlightenment, sharing her story and disseminating important information about the disease. He has not only become an icon of the LGBTQ community, but also an educator and influencer, constantly raising awareness about HIV slash AIDS. But fate, always capricious, dealt Zamora a cruel hand. In 1994, he succumbed to the ravages of the disease, his indomitable spirit extinguished by the relentless progression of HIV-related complications. Yet even in death, Zamora's legacy lives on, etched into the collective consciousness of those he touched. His impact resonated far beyond his mortal years, resonating even in the highest echelons of power. President Bill Clinton himself also paid tribute to Zamora's contributions, reinforcing his key role in the fight against HIV AIDS. Although he passed away too soon, the soul of Pedro Zamora still exists, an eternal flame illuminating the path towards a world without the darkness of discrimination and ignorance. In the tapestry of fame and fortune, Anthony Perkins' life is a tumultuous journey woven by secrets and revelations. For years, he lived in darkness, his true self hidden from the world, his heart beating to a rhythm that only he could hear. But fate intervened in 1972 when Perkins happened to meet mysterious model Barry Berenson. Their stormy romance culminated in marriage the following year, a pivotal moment that broke down the walls of Perkins' monastic existence and opened a new chapter in his life. However, tragedy still lurks on the horizon. In a cruel twist of fate, Perkins passed away from AIDS-related pneumonia at the age of 60. Left behind was her widowed husband, Barry Berenson, who continued to navigate the turbulent waters of life with grace and resilience. But fate is always changing and must deal a more cruel blow. In a painful echo of tragedy, Berenson was killed in the horrific terrorist attacks of September 11, just nine years after Perkins passed away. The lives of Anthony Perkins and Barry Berenson, though marred by trials and tribulations, are a testament to the enduring power and resilience of love, especially in the face of the challenges posed by a uniform world homosexuality, and the AIDS epidemic pose. In the grand tapestry of life, Stephen Stucker's journey is a testament to courage and meaning. In 1984, he received the shocking news that he was diagnosed with HIV, becoming one of the first artists to boldly face the truth about his health condition. Undeterred, he shared his story and announced his positive test results in a candid interview, forever changing perceptions and sparking widespread awareness about HIV and AIDS. Stucker's revelations include his past struggles with drug addiction, shedding light on the potential risks that led to him contracting the virus. Despite facing adversity and setbacks, Stucker remained resolute and steadfast in his fight against the epidemic. His spirit and determination are like a beacon of hope amid the darkness of crisis. Tragically, however, Stucker's journey came to an untimely end in 1986, when he suffered virus-related complications at the age of 38. His life and sacrifice are more than just a story, about personal courage and determination, but also about strength and compassion within people. The fight against AIDS. Stephen Stucker's legacy resonates through the ages, a poignant reminder of the indomitable human spirit and the enduring power of compassion in the face of adversity.
Paul Schnarr, a shining star in the entertainment industry, has made a profound mark through millions of memorable performances on both stage and screen over the years. Revered by colleagues and audiences alike for his talent and artistic dedication, he emerged as an outstanding figure in the field of art. However, amid the glitz and glamour, Paul Schnarr's private life remains a mystery. However, part of his personal life became the subject of public speculation and curiosity when details about his relationship with Jeremy Brett were revealed. During that time, Schnarr lived with the secret of his relationship, a burden he carried until his death in 1989 from complications related to AIDS at the age of 53. His passing hit him hard, marks a profound loss not only for his family and friends, but also for him. Also for the entire entertainment industry, as a profound reminder to those who have fought and sacrificed before this evil disease. Paul Schnarr's legacy endures as a testament to the power of his artistry and the tenacity of the human spirit, forever immortalized in the annals of entertainment history. Steve Rubel, famous for his creativity and zest for life, stood tall at Studio 54 in New York, a symbol of high entertainment culture in the late 1970s and early 1980s. As one of the organizers, Rubel played a key role in creating a vibrant and luxurious space that attracted the attention of the rich and famous of the era. Studio 54 became a place to see and be seen, where fun and excitement were anticipated and enjoyed. Steve Rubel is known for his ability to create a vibrant and exciting atmosphere, making every party there an unforgettable experience. However, Steve Rubel's life faced adversity when he was diagnosed HIV positive in 1985. The virus progressed to AIDS, and he died the following year from serious complications, including inflammation, liver, and septic shock. Although he is long gone, it is a tragic loss for a man who contributed to the glory and vitality of the disco and Studio 54 era. The story of Steve Rubel is a poignant reminder of the ups and downs of life on the fast track, a testament to the fleeting nature of fame and the indiscriminate spread of disease. Joel Crothers, the respected luminary of the silver screen, harbors a deep secret that only those close to him know his identity as a gay man. Despite his candor with close friends, family, and co-stars, he passionately protects this aspect of his life from the prying eyes of the media. In a twist of fate, Joel finds solace in the arms of Veleka Gray, his on-screen lover in a hit summer TV show. Their engagement, though kept private, whispers of a love that transcends the confines of the screen. Tragically, Joel's bright light was extinguished prematurely in 1985 at the age of 44, succumbing to the ravages of lymphoma associated with AIDS. His untimely death echoed through the corridors of the entertainment industry, casting a somber sadness among those who were enamored with his talent. The passing of Joel Crothers is an indelible reminder of the fragility of life and the urgent need to fight deadly diseases like AIDS. His legacy, a testament to both his artistic prowess and his courage in navigating the complexities of identity, continues to echo through the annals of Hollywood, a poignant story of triumph and tragedy. In the world of Hollywood spotlights and chords, Rock Hudson shines like a great picture, with more than 70 movies and many TV shows, engraving its mark in the hearts of audiences for more than four decades. He is a symbol of acting power, a historical milestone in the golden age of the film industry. In 1984, 
Rock Hudson was faced with a difficult wall when he received a heartbreaking diagnosis of HIV infection. Although his heart was heavy with grief, he chose to keep this dangerous disease a secret. But the traces of illness could not be hidden on his face. His pallor, weight loss, and unpredictable behavior made people question his health. Finally, in 1985, Rock Hudson's heartbreaking end came when he passed away from terrifying complications from AIDS just days before he turned 60. His passing was a blow, a huge shock to the entire film industry, but also a bitter reminder of the dangers of this disease. Rock Hudson not only left behind a great legacy in the performing arts, but also opened a deeper window into the fight against AIDS. His sacrifice is a strong motivation, motivating many people to learn and contribute to the fight against this dangerous disease. On his career path, Roy Kahn was like a thorn in the American legal and political world, marking the appearance of a controversial and contradictory figure. He faced trials and difficulties, risking everything to retain power and fame. On his reputation board, Kahn is known as a ruling hero, an extremely talented consultant who has supported and represented highly influential individuals such as Donald Trump and Rupert Murdoch. However, Behind the resounding success, there is a darkness of personal secrets and unspoken rumors. Rumors and speculation about Khan's health status constantly spread, from the fact that he was gay to the fact that he had HIV since 1984. But Khan never admitted or went public about these facts. Instead, he tried to cover up and hide, continuing his life under the guise of arrogance and vanity. Finally, in 1985, Roy Khan left this life taking with him unspoken secrets and questions. His passing not only leaves a painful void in the legal and political community, but also opens a story full of hidden corners, about power and fame, about the constant struggle between the truth and concealment. Perry Ellis, a master in the American fashion world, built a solid name in the industry in the late 70s. However, his life faced traumatic and sad events, haunted. In 1981, Perry Ellis met Laughlin Barker, a partner in the fashion industry, and their professional and personal relationship began to blossom. But this happiness only lasted for a short time as the relationship tragically broke up after four years. In 1986, Barker faced cancer, and Perry Ellis' health began to decline significantly. He died in rapid decline from a haunting disease, viral encephalitis. Although there has been no official confirmation, many people believe that Ellis' illness may be related to complications from AIDS. The passing of Perry Ellis is not only a loss for the fashion industry, but also a painful reminder of the importance of health and self-care. It is a warning that, despite success and fame, when we lose our health, we lose everything. The video ends here. Remember, there are still many other interesting and engaging videos in my playlist. Before you leave, please leave a comment number one if you found the video interesting, or number two if not. It's that simple, isn't it? Thank you.